Hello, and welcome back to another Daily Top 10 Top 10 video. Today, we're talking about the 10 most annoying video game weapons. Whether you're a soldier, a spy, an Italian plumber, or whatever the hell Ratchet is supposed to be, most video game characters use weapons in some form or another. Many of these give you a rush of joy when you fire them, and unless you've gone full rage, some kind of grudging respect when they are used on you. But sometimes, the designers just get it all wrong and make weapons that are either a nightmare to play with or so overly powerful that you can break friendships, marriages, and TV screens just by firing them. Number 10. The Bane, Borderlands 2 This is the only one on our list that was intentionally designed to be annoying. Borderlands 2 has a huge arsenal of guns that you can buy, find, or be awarded for completing a mission. The Bane comes as one of these rewards, and when it pops up and you see the stats, you think, okay, this looks pretty good. The Bane's problem is not its power or accuracy or even reload. It's that the gun is haunted, and every time you pull the trigger, you're deafened by the terrified screaming of the spirits trapped inside. It's actually pretty funny, but just like a toddler who's learnt their first joke, you laugh the first time, chuckle the second, but after 15 minutes, you want to go full Van Gogh and just cut your own ears off. <laughs> Number 9. Giant's Knife, Ocarina of Time The Ocarina of Time is considered to be one of the greatest games that has ever been made, and still holds up today, almost 20 years after its release. But even the greatest games have their flaws, and this Zelda classic has an infuriating masterpiece named The Giant's Knife. It's big, it's powerful, its range is pathetic, and it breaks immediately. If this really is a giant's knife, then it must be one of those that the giants throw away at a picnic after it snaps off in the hummus. You can wield it after it breaks, but you still need two hands. So, save your money on this one. Number 8. Redeemer – Unreal Tournament Huge, terrifying guns are amazing, and back in the day, the pinnacle of destruction would often be the rocket launcher. Slow, unwielding, but utterly devastating. Unreal Tournament decided that regular rockets were for weaklings and decided to go all North Korea and make their own nuclear weapon. The Redeemer was a two-shot nuclear missile sniper rifle, and if that sounds like ridiculous overkill, then you would be right. Just like with real-life nukes, no one really wins as you either blow yourself up or lose your hearing to the screams of hatred thrown at you. Number 7. Gunblade – Final Fantasy It's a tough choice, gun or blade. Weaker ranged attacks that help keep you safe from danger, or violent melee weapons where you need to stand on your enemy's toes. Somehow, someone at the Final Fantasy office combined the two types of weapon into the gun blade and managed to give you the problems of both and the benefit of neither. You could only fire the gun after you had hit them with the blade, defeating the object of having a gun in the first place. Fortunately, they decided against other equally helpful weapons, such as the origami axe and a shotgun that shot in both directions. Number 6. Needler – Halo 2 If you're going to design a gun after an imaginary animal, a neon pink porcupine with the strength of wet toast should probably not be your first option. The Halo franchise took the strange step of taking a gun that had been perfectly usable in the first game, 
and making it weaker, slower, and hiding the majority of the ammunition down the back of the sofa. It got better, but it was truly terrible in Halo 2. You could let fire with an entire clip, and then even the weakest enemy would likely die of old age long before the darts actually arrived. And if they did, they would do all the damage of a poorly shaped chopstick. Number 5. Blue Shell Mario Kart Who remembers this? You've power slided around most corners and carefully picked off your enemies. You see the finish line ahead just around the next corner, and as you turn, BAM! A gigantic blue shell crushes all your dreams. But the person who fired the shell can now win the race at least, right? No, they're still in last position, probably being carried around by the cloud guy again as if he's their personal chauffeur. The blue shell is for the ultimate bitter loser. I may be losing, but I'm going to spoil everyone else's fun too. Number 4. Bowcaster – Dark Forces Running around in the Star Wars universe is a pleasure that is hard to beat, especially when you're holding the devastating power of a lightsaber. And maybe because the lightsaber is so awesome, the designers decided to balance the force by making a weapon that is as useless as the saber is fabulous. The bowcaster lets you fire a widespread of five laser bolts, so you can miss people across the whole screen rather than just in the center. And if you switch to the single bolt, then you find that missing and hitting have a similar impact on your enemy's health, as it has all the power of an Ewok's handshake. Number 3. The Clob – Goldeneye for some people, it's not enough to say that the Clob was the worst gun in Goldeneye. They need people to understand that it's the worst weapon ever created in the infinite realities of the video game universe. Even when you acquire a second one and stand dual wielding ready to face off against the swarms of Russian soldiers, as soon as you pull the trigger, you'll wonder what else you have on you. Maybe a pencil, a stick of gum, some belly button fluff. Literally, anything else would be a step up at this point. Number 2. Farsight XR20 – Perfect Dark The makers of Goldeneye took it way too far the other way, though, when they created Perfect Dark. The Farsight really lives up to its name by letting you stare deep into the level with X-ray vision and then shoot your enemies directly through the walls. If you're playing on your own, fine. This godlike power gives you a strange tingling in your belly. But in multiplayer, it is an unplayable doomsday gun that lets one party pooper camp out in some dark corner and ruin the fun for everybody else. Let's get close. <laughs> Number 1. Concrete Donkey – Worms Revolution Worms had some wonderfully weird and inventive weapons, such as the Flying Super Sheep, who flew in terrifying out-of-control loops, and the destructive chaos of the Banana Bomb. But the Concrete Donkey took a lot of that wild, unpredictable joy out, and was just a click-and-drop messenger of Donkey Doo. As if there had been some mix-up in HR and Eeyore had become one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Thanks for watching another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. And remember, it's our duty to entertain and yours to subscribe. Please subscribe to Daily Top 10. Woo!
Please subscribe to Daily Top Tanks. Woo!